Let's move on to the next topic. Next. Effect of HP7 knockout on the effect of MSC in the treatment of radiation induced lung injury. Presented by Ms. Runlin Wu. Please give a round of applause. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. This data reveals. Hello, everyone. I'm Renee Wu from Naval Medical University. Oh, I'm so sorry. I will show my screen now. Hello everyone, I'm Rene Wu from Naval Medical University. The topic of my report today is effect of SP7 knockout on the effect of MSC in the treatment of radiation-induced lung injury. Radiation-induced lung injury really is a common complication after radiotherapy for thoracic tumors. Meanwhile, it can also cause a really in nuclear accident and worse. Therefore, the research on its treatment has great social demand and military significance. But the terminal stem cell MSC have shown a certain application prospect in the preparation and treatment of radi. However, common MSC therapy still has the limitation of short transplanting time and limited efficacy. Recent studies have found that under hypoxia conditions, the proliferation and the differentiation ability of bone marrow mechanical stem cell BMC are significantly enhanced. And the, and the expression of growth factor is up is up regulated is up regulated. Based on the above hypothesis, our group have proved that the improvement of ready generation of hypoxic BMC was mainly realized through the secretion of the MIP1 beta by BMC. On this phase, we proved that the upstream transcribation factor of MIP1 beta was SP7. Suggesting that SG7 may affect the stereotypic effect of BMC on reading. Next, we designed a series of studies in cell experiments and animal modeling to uh, verify whether SG7 is, a, is, a, is an important target affecting the efficacy of reading. Now I, I will introduce my, my, my results in detail. Based on the construction of SG7 gene of BMC, we first investigate the effect of SG7 on the function of BMC. In the cell experiment, we merely tested 24-hour cell variability figure 1 and proliferation ability, ability after it labeling figure 2. Furthermore, rose flow second probe was used for labeling figure 3. After treatment with hydrogen peroxide, the rose contained figure 4A and above the rate figure 4B. Of the two groups were compared in a high risk environment in visual. This result indicated that SP7 played an important role in regulating the activity, proliferation, and antioxidant capacity. Next, we construct a model of Rayleigh in SP7 knockout mice. The longitudinal section of mice after irradiation were taken for HU sterling, turn sterling, and natural sterling. We then detected the level of inflammatory factor and the metal bridge in the alveolar level fluid of irradiated mice. According to the above results, the effect of SP7 group on, on protecting lung parenchymal cells, relieving the inflammation of exposed tissues and inhibiting pulmonary factors was significantly reduced. Based on the above conclusion, we speculate that SP7 might affect the stereotypic effect through the exocrine mechanism. To investigate the mechanism of the of the regulation of BMC function by SP7. We construct a co model in the most lung efficient cells and BMC after irradiation. We detected the proliferation activity, figure 10, and a positive rate, figure 11, of MLE after irradiation. This result showed that the protective effect of MLE was decreased after SP7 gene knockout. In this study, SP7 gene knockout in mice were, were used to obtain SP7 knockout BMC. 
further in experiments confirmed that ST7 knockout significantly reduced the efficacy of BMC on ready and the protective effects on the OLA existing. This result suggests that SV7 may be an important target for regulating BMC function. Thanks for your attention. Thank you so much. It's such an interesting topic. Any question from our judges? So I, I have a basic question about the SP7. What is the yeah. uh, physiological function in the normal cell? And what are the functions in the uh, lung cells, for example? Oh, oh, thanks for your question. It's a very good question. Uh, let me let me introduce how we found this SP7. Uh, because because mm, because because it really it really is a is a hypoxic micro micro environment and uh, and uh, and the MSC has some and MSC has some limitations <coughs> about short colonization and low activity. So we, we we get to that maybe hypoxic BMC can maybe hypoxic BMC can be the more better therapy effect maybe or better therapy effect on on really so so we so we do the we do the pre experiment to verify if it's not and then we and then we use the use the bio bio in, bioinformatics analyze technique. To find that that the that the most that the most important molecular is MRT one beta. Then, um, then then we then we find then we use the then we use the other other technique like upstream transcription factor and uh, com and the combination of the other fine informatical technology to find that. Uh, that, that is the upstream, that is upstream transcription factor is SP7. So we do this, so we do, do this molecular to our target, to our target, to target study, study, yes. Okay, thank you so much. Any more questions? Okay, thank you, Ms. Runlin. Thank you.